Huge names like Eli, like Seth Moniz, and now we kick off heat number three. One surfer will have to start packing up and heading to the west early. David Silva, Sammy Pupo, Frederico Marias, all three surfers need a huge result and can't afford to lose in this round with all three surfers trying to avoid an early round loss. Frederico getting a wave during the break. Yeah, Frederico opening. Oh, wow, what a floater. That was beautiful to watch. Silky smooth there. Float into a couple of nice carving maneuvers. Looking to bring it through to the inside here. Gets the finish. Yeah, beautiful little opening wave there from Fred. And that came through at a five-point ride. So great way to open up his account. So you look to David Silva just... And then also Samuel Pupo. Yeah, getting started here. And uh, this wave looking like it's going to offer a little bit of clean face, which is what we like to see. Beautiful carving maneuver there. Straight up into a second one. And this wave already, I mean, I just like the look of it. Just a little bit less texture on the face of the wave compared to uh, Fred's. Just crazy looking at these three names and all needing a oh. big result here and how devastating it would be for any of them to lose and what they would be facing at Margaret River to try to stay on tour. David Silva up, goes through the white water on the first turn. This guy can find speed on anything. And how was that little <laughs> side slipping backhand climb? Look, it's not going to score much, but it looked cool. Yeah, <laughs> just for entertainment purposes. Oh, that no. was like a little backhand board slide. Building his profile as we speak, surfing in such a big way monster turns good flow he could tell he's got humility really humble as he looks up to everyone on tour but he's right in the mix moving into the round of 32 and i just got to keep remembering his quote from a couple years ago asked what his dream heat would be a final at bells i mean it's been the wild card story i mean ellie harrison with her win uh over molly picklum and then, yeah, Tully getting through. We always had George in the last heat. So there's been some big upsets. That's right. As we look at Sammy Pupo, thin throw there to start. Climbing into a carve. And now a full wrap with a rebound. So using a lot of the wave here, Sammy Pupo goes over the top of the white water again. And just setting his pace on this inside track. Had the 6.0 to start, still out in front. And a solid finishing move. Two really good surf waves. This is the, this is Sammy's second wave, and this wave I just feel like he had a good pace to it, and good timing too. It looked like a tricky wave to surf. You could have easily really butchered this wave, but I feel like he just had a really good flow and picked the right turns for the right sections here. Can be really easy to somehow sometimes get really uh, far out on the face and sort of over surf the wave, but yeah, Sammy just surf this super well that last turn they're just flaring on the hardware this is the replay this is Fred's started off nice here went to that trademark hack that we know so well with another well-timed jab in the lip followed by another hack there goes up into the lip again this is a really nice wave finished off there on the inside so physically fit to cover a lot of ground out here even with the skis and have really good equipment Sammy Pupo on boards from JS Industries. Trying to force that whitewater little slice. His last wave was a 4.8, but last of Marias, a bit more connected, really powerful between turns. Been one of the most famous over the years as we get back to Sammy's last wave. Yeah, that board's looking so loose underneath his feet. This was only a two-turn combo here. Really try to force that little foam climb. Don't think that's going to go into that top two. But, uh, his ability, he can create those moments for himself. And now we'll see David Silva from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Messy backhand float. And he's getting a little bit hung up again. So he's kind of had similar waves where the whitewater climbs. But right now, trying to focus on avoiding elimination. The surf for complete season. Smoother water and setting up the best turn so far for David Silva in the matchup. Punches out the lip again. Now he's off to the top and hitting the whitewater section. Well, out in front, nice wrapping turn for Silva. Now just relaxing a little bit. That's that really hi-fi, spring-loaded energy that he's famous for. Getting surfboards from the GOATS surfboard company. 
bat, blasting it one more time, and he will just trip on that inside shelf. Let's have a look at this replay. It was a bit of a smaller wave, but it just had a beautiful bowl to it. And David just surfing this with a really nice tempo. That second turn, throwing so much spray straight up into that third. But yeah, smaller wave, but just timing impeccable here. And really, really, really good surfing. Just the ability to go up into that foam. Got a little bit, a bit, a little bit slow here, a little bit sleepy, but... He managed to get a bit more work done on the inside here. And this is where the damage was done, I think, to that fin. Just taking it right on through to the inside. Uh, and right on that inside there, there is a little bit of limestone -y sort of rock. Donk! There Ooh, we go. We got here at 6 a.m. for our <laughs> meeting. You were right on time. Proud of you. And Thank you. Always. It's 6.45 p.m. local time. And we're still oh. here. David having to give way to Sammy. David having to step out. Sammy's got a higher priority and blitzes that section with the slide, picking up speed to cover some ground. I love when Sammy just shows that extra gear that he can have, even when the wave is flat. Now trying to force something on the inside, starting to gun for an oncoming section. Could have some options here. He'll hit the lip into a fade on the low road. So start off with a defensive strategy to keep Silva off this wave and turns it into what probably will be a keeper. Yeah, that was smart. That was smart surfing. He had to go to with that, like pretty much two minutes on the clock. I mean, you're mad if you're not using your priority there. He mm. might be concerned and wondering what Sammy did on that last wave. So he probably has to keep Silva off anything that comes through. Federico lunges into the first section. Clean hook to kick things off. Just like Sammy, a JS Industries team rider, as Keek is just starting to run after some white water oh. to work with and punches it out. Finishes off on his feet. And that'll leave Silva with priority in 39 seconds. Now it's up to Silva on this wave. Still some scores to come in from the previous ride, so he's got to surf this wave oh. with everything he's got. He kicks out straight away. Marias, though, looking incredibly clutch. Looking happy, even though he's in a stressful situation here at stop number four of the year.